To answer your question, the lion is and is not the king of the jungle. Confused? Let me explain with a story. You see, there was once a lion cub called Fearless who had lost his way. He was with his pride who were looking for grasslands and savannas that had plenty of prey and no competition from the other prides in the area. During their travels, they stopped to rest just outside of a jungle nearby. Fearless was playing with his brothers and sisters on the rocks that lay in front of the jungle opening. As Fearless played, he was distracted by a butterfly and decided to chase it and practice his hunting skills. Fearless chased the butterfly, trying to paw at it and pounce on it. Fearless was really enjoying himself, but couldn't catch the beautiful butterfly. When he turned around to go back, he was met with rows of trees and vegetation, and the sun was about to set. He was lost, and he had no way to get back to his pride. Disorientated, confused and alone, Fearless kept going in the direction of the butterfly. He walked all night until sunrise. When the light peeked over the horizon, Fearless decided to rest. He curled up into a ball and went to sleep, but not for long, because a herd of elephants marched through the forest and saw him all alone shivering in the cold as the rain poured down on them. The elephants were confused as they knew lions didn't live in the forest. So why was this cub here, all alone? They asked Fearless why he was here. Fearless told them he got lost after chasing a butterfly and wanted to get back to his pride family. The elephants told him that they saw them leaving the night before. They saddened Fearless, who now had no idea what to do. The elephants saw his sadness and felt his pain, and so offered him to join them in their herd. Fearless's survival instincts kicked in, and he accepted. Fearless began to live with the herd, and as he grew, he became stronger and more powerful in stature. Fearless found that very few animals challenged him. Now adorned with his luscious dark mane, he was now a true adult. Fearless began to use his strength and power to protect the herd from outsiders. He found that the animals of the forest respected him and feared him in equal measure. As the years went by, Fearless's reputation of being a brave, courageous and powerful jungle protector preceded him, and word spread across the animal kingdom of the jungle protector all the way to the hyena clan, the lion's most hated enemy. Upon hearing this, the hyenas planned to enter the jungle and kill him. They entered the jungle in their numbers. The parrots alerted the elephants of the hyenas presence in the sacred jungle. They knew why the hyenas were here and immediately informed Fearless. They explained to him that the hyenas were not like any enemy that he had ever faced before and he could not defeat them on his own as he would surely be killed. The jungle creatures all began to panic and chaos ensued. Seeing the animals in this state, Fearless knew that he had to do something. He let out a mighty roar which was heard all throughout the jungle. The jungle animals all turned to look at him as he stood on a large boulder above them. He told them not to panic. He had a plan to defeat the terrifying threat. Fearless lured the hyenas into the middle of the jungle. Just as they thought that they were about to kill Fearless, the hyenas found them surrounded by all the animals of the jungle. Seeing they were outnumbered, they instantly ran for their lives and out of the forest, never to be seen again. So you see, through this story, we learn that the lions are not the king of the jungle because they are found in savannas and grasslands. However, it's the qualities they possess that have cemented their reputation. So the next time you hear the phrase, King of the Jungle, remember it's not the location, rather it's unique qualities that make them the king in the eyes of the humans. This is reflected in the fact that they are revered in many cultures around the world and in history, depicting qualities and attributes mentioned in the story. So next time you lock eyes with the majestic beast, whether on safari, zoo or TV, Remember what it represents and appreciate it for what it is. Last but not least, never take for granted the natural world, for no animal truly rules over another like that of a king, as each species plays a vital role in the ecosystem and has their own adaptation for survival. If you enjoyed this story of the legendary king of the jungle, please like and subscribe to The Animal Geek. I look forward to exploring with you and telling you more stories of amazing animals in the next one.